Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna teach you how to learn SEO for free. I'm gonna jumpstart your career without you even spending a dime. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe. That way when I release more tips on SEO, you'll get notified. Quick question for you. How many of you have done SEO before? If you have, leave a comment below with yes. If you haven't, leave a comment below with no. And here's the thing, whether you have done SEO before or you haven't, what I'm gonna share with you today is gonna to help you become a better SEO. The first step, I want you to type in your URL into the SEO analyzer. If you don't have a URL, type in your competitor's URL or whatever company you work at or any random URL. The SEO analyzer from Uber suggests breaks down all the errors on your site. The load time, what you can do to improve it, how many SEO errors you have that are critical, warnings, what's wrong with your content, whether it's duplicate titles, duplicate meta descriptions, it literally breaks every single thing down for you. It crawls hundreds and hundreds of pages on your site. And it tells you what to fix step by step. It'll even tell you what URLs have the problem. In other words, you don't have to be that technical to figure this out. The tool breaks it all down for you step by step. And then once you make the change, it'll then show you if you fix it or if you didn't. And when you fix the changes, over time, your ranking should just climb. The second step I want you to do is check out the traffic analyzed report on Ubersuggest. Type in a competitor URL right then and there. That report breaks down how much traffic your competitors are getting from search from all their pages. You just have to click over to top pages and this shows you their most popular piece of content based on estimated visits. And when you click on view all under estimated visits, it shows you each of the keywords that are driving traffic to your competitors' top pages. Now that you figure that out, the third thing I want you to do is go to that competitor page that's getting a lot of traffic, look at that content. I want you to create a better version of it. You leverage Brian Dean's skyscraper technique, which you're going above and beyond. They got 2,000 words, you're gonna have 4,000 words. They got articles with images, you got articles with images and videos. In other words, just go above and beyond, make your content so much better, people wouldn't even dare to visit your competition. When you do that, more people are gonna to wanna to share it. The next thing I want you to do is go to search.twitter.com, type in your competitor's URL, and it'll show you all of the people that shared your competitor's article. Hey John, I noticed you linked to X, Y, and Z article. I have a similar one that just came out, but mine covered one, two, and three that theirs didn't. Cheers, Neil. P.S. If I can do anything for you, let me know. That one simple thing will help you get more traffic. The more traffic you get, the higher chance you're gonna have of people sharing your content and linking to it as well. Because the more backlinks you get, the more shares you get, this all helps with user metrics and overall rankings over time. The fifth thing I want you to do is go back to Ubersuggest and put in your competitor's URL into the backlinks report. They already have a piece of content that's super popular. You can see all the people who are linking to that piece of content with the backlinks report. I want you to hit up each of those people and send them a message like this. By doing that, what you'll find is a lot of people will start linking to you because your article was way better than theirs. You're gonna get more links, more social shares, and eventually you'll even start ranking higher than them. Now the next thing I want you to do is focus on user metrics. No one talks about this in SEO. It's not just about, are you building backlinks? Do you have you had your code optimized? It's about, what do people think of your site? Are they bouncing away? Is your time on site terrible? Google looks at these metrics because they don't want to just put any site at the top. They want to put sites at the top that people truly genuinely love. So with your site, survey people. You can use tools like Hotjar to figure out, hey, what do you like? What do you dislike on my page? How can I improve it? Give me free suggestions. By getting all of this feedback, what you'll find is you'll see commonalities. When you find 30, 40 people giving you the same suggestions, now it's time for you to make those changes to your site because that'll help you improve your user metrics. And over time, you'll rank better. That's how you dominate Google. It's not just about, hey, can I optimize my code? Can I optimize my backlinks? Can I get more social shares? It's about putting out there what, what people love. Do all of those things and you can become a better SEO. If you enjoyed watching this video, leave a comment below, ask me any questions, I'll answer it. Like it, subscribe to the channel, share the video. Thank you for watching.